Электростанция – это предприятие, производящее электрическую энергию. Без нее немыслима жизнь современного человека. Все электричество, используемое в Power Power plant is a plant producing electricity. Without it, the life of a modern person is inconvincible. All the electricity used in household production transport is produced at power station. The first of them appeared in the late 19th century, and since then their number, output efficiency and their types, ways to generate electricity have been increasing. The main goal of all the power plants is to transform non-electric energy, such as mechanical, chemical and thermal, into electrical energy. In most types of power stations, an AC generator is used for that. In the simplest sense, its principle of operation is based on the phenomena of electromagnetic induction and the fact that in the state of winding located in an alternate magnetic field, electromagnetic voltage is generated. This field is generated by the rotor, a rotation electromagnet, while DC is passing through its winding. To put it in simpler words, we can say that for the generator of electric currents we need to make the rotor rotate. To do this, most of the power plants use a turbine. This is a powerful unit that provides the, the rotation of the rotor. By type of turbines, the way they work, the fuel power plants are divided into their types. Nowadays, the most common type of power plants is a thermal power station, TPS. They sequentially convert the heat energy of burning fossil fuels into mechanical and then into electricity. The earliest one of the kind is a stream turbine power plant. Here the energy of compressed and heated steam is converted into kinetic energy of rotation of the shaft. As a result of its rotation, the energy is produced. Part of the steam can be bled and used for heating. Such stations are called heat and power plants. They are located within or near the city and fuel is delivered there. Most often it is coal or oil. Efficiency means the electricity received percentage of the energy consumed during its production is relatively low, 60-70%. Gas turbine thermal power station for higher efficiency, where a mixture of air and gas is efficient and the resulting flow of the hot mixture is fed to the shaft. In such a modern type of power plants, as atomic power station, the energy of nuclear fission in a reactor is used to heat the coolant. The process is accompanied by heat release. The coolant is heated in the primary coolant socket, which heats the coolant in the secondary socket, mostly water, and after that the coolant is fed to the turbine. Well, and it's just great if you don't need to consume fuel in order to obtain the steam, and you simply get the heated steam from nature. How is this possible? In some regions of the world, underground thermal springs or geysers are spread. Having drilled a well bore, you can use this cheap energy. These power plants are called geothermal power stations, but in principle it's not necessary to use the energy of the heated somehow in order to steam or gas to ensure the rotation of the rotor. You can use the energy of motion of water or gas. This fact has found the most common application in the use of hydroelectric power station. Having blocked a river by the dam, you create a difference in water levels. Trying to overcome it, the water falls on the bucket of the water turbine, rotating it. Tidal electric power stations are less widely used. In them, the movement of water during the tides is used for rotation of the turbine. And finally, let us consider wind power station or wind. It's easy to guess that the rotation is caused by the motion of air setting in motion the windmill blades. The kinetic energy of winds is converted into electricity. They are set in steppes and deserts where strong winds often blow. Solar power stations stay by themselves. They do not use movement in the electric generator. The current is generated by photoelectric cells and solar batteries. They convert solar energy into electricity. So we have recollected the main types of power plants. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each type? They are directly connected with the principles of the operation. Thermal power stations currently provide the greatest number of energy on the planet, and they are obsolete, and the mankind is looking for ways to abandon them at that. First of all, they use non-renewable resources, hydrocarbons as a fuel, products of petroleum, gas, coal, peat and shale. These resources are not infinite, and sooner or later a use will start. Moreover, such power plants heavily pollute the environment with combustion products. They often have low efficiency, but despite this, they will remain leaders in the industry for a long time. Nuclear power engineering is more promising. 
there exists some assumption that the its reverses of fuel on the Earth are more extensive than that of oil, coal and gas. They are much more compact by volume, and despite the menacing image, a modern nuclear energy is more environmentally friendly. However, the construction of such a plant is very expensive, considerably more expensive than the construction of a thermal one. And although many people hope for widespread use of nuclear energy in the future, now the proportion of energy generated is fairly small. It can be put in the third place after the energy that is given by water power plants. The latter are powerful, the energy they provide is cheap. But at the same time, their construction is detrimental to the environment. Large areas are flooded. The ecosystem of the region changes. Solar power stations are environmentally clean in their use, but at the same time, if the use will expand, the problem of utilization of solar cells, which contain cadmium, will arise. In addition, they may be located mainly in areas with a large number of sunny days, preferably close to the equator. The use of them, for example, in the latitudes of central Russia may be unjustified. Approximately the same situation is with wind power stations. They are harmless to nature, but can be located on a certain places where the wind blows steadily. Yet, even there, there are no guarantees regarding the output of electricity. It may charge during a year, as well as during a month, a day, and this, of course, is a drawback. At all times of human history, the emergence of a new source of power has been a strong impetus to the development of a civilization, the replacement of timber by coal as a source of fuel led to the beginning of industrialization. And the use of oil and gas had led to a dramatic jump in technology in the 20th century. Now scientists are searching for new ways to get electricity. There is no doubt that when they succeeded, humanity will face a new turn in its development.